Choosing to go to Schulich for my undergraduate degree was honestly one of the best decisions that I have made in the last couple of years. Coming out of it at the end of fourth year and soon to be graduating, I can say that it has been an incredible journey and I have learned a lot, made a lot of friendships and really become a part of that community that the school embodies. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Yusuf and I'm a soon to be graduating business student from the Schulich School of Business based out of Toronto, Canada. And in this video, I'll be going over some of the key decisions and key areas that really helped me make that decision to go to Schulich and why I think that it might be a great school for you. Now, my intention with this video is not to tell you straight out to go to Schulich. I can't really do that. At the end of the day, it is your decision. But what I really hope to do is give you some insight into why I chose the school and why I personally think it's a great school. I do remember coming out of high school and really being overwhelmed with the decision as it feels like choosing what university to go to is the decision that will impact the rest of your life. It is a big decision and uh, I really hope that you can make the right one for you through these tips and these areas that I'm going to be discussing. So without further ado, let's get started into the five key reasons why I chose to go to the Schubert School of Business. The first reason, arguably one of the most important ones, is the reputation and the alumni network of the university. Schulich by far has great recognition in terms of it being globally recognized as one of the top leading business schools. And in Canada, it has been ranked number one by a variety of different rankings by CNN Expansion, Forbes, and many other ones, as well as consistently within top 50 globally and even in top 10 um, in North America. Additionally, it doesn't make sense to mention the Schulich School of Business without mentioning the university it's affiliated with, York University, which once again is a leading university and the second largest in Canada and is globally recognized for a variety of different programs that it has to offer. And when you're going to the school, you're not only benefiting off of the reputation of Schulich, you're also benefiting off of the reputation of York University and the network that it has to offer. Schulich has over 30,000 alumni from the BBA and MBA programs across 90 different countries in the world, all of whom are in, are in great positions within their careers and are always there to help you. I've personally experienced the alumni network and the different alumni through working within the alumni, alumni relations department. And believe me when I tell you that everyone is really there to help each other and be a part of that community. And honestly, once you meet someone who goes to Schulich and you tell them that I actually go there, you always have something to connect and talk about, which is great as it really helps you build those relationships. You can find people from the school in the most unexpected places. Trust me, you can look at companies in the most random places and you'll find a Schulich alumni there, which is what speaks to the vast breadth and the reach of this of the alumni network of Schulich. Some key alumni that I actually wanted to highlight that I've been following over the last couple of years and who I really think are inspiring are Bharat Masrani, who is the CEO of TD, Frank Vitesse, who was the Deloitte CEO of Canada and who really made a lot of advancements uh, within his field as well as for gender equality within the workspace. And lastly, as well as Frank Rousseau, who is the CEO of Air Canada. And as you can see by these three people and countless others, a lot of Shulik alumni tend couple of years down the road, hold a lot of different high-level positions uh, within companies. Lastly, Shulik also has a broad reach across the world through having a campus in Hyderabad, India, where they offer um, their MBA in India program, as well as through partnerships with a variety of leading business schools across the world. So in summary, the Shulik School of Business is ranked very well globally, nationally in North America. It has global exposure and reach. The alumni recognition and the alumni rep, um, network is vast and there's alumni everywhere. And it benefits off of being affiliated with York University, which also has a great reputation globally. Now let's dive into the actual program itself, uh, the BBA or the IBBA program, uh, which is the international counterpart of the Bachelor of Business Administration program. When applying to university, I was really looking for a program that was flexible um, because I had a general sense of what I wanted to do, but didn't really want to lock myself in too early by choosing a program, for example, um, that's very spe specific out of day one. And Shulik, in my opinion, was the perfect mix as the first two years are general, where it gives you the fundamental knowledge that you need and fundamental courses that are important for business education, such as finance, accounting, organizational behavior, marketing, and you get a taste of everything and build those solid foundations. In year three and four is where you can really explore your interests and do whatever you want to do. And everyone is there to support you uh, throughout that decision. One key thing that a lot of people don't really emphasize, uh, what I found when I was looking at universities is that the program is direct entry. What this essentially means is that once you get in, you're in. From day one in first year, you're 
a part of the Shuik School of Business and the business program. A lot of different universities, um, such, as, such as Western, um, Rotman, they have non-direct entry programs where you get admitted to the school based on a conditional average that you have to maintain in your first year, and the first year is general. Um, not, I'm not saying that this is bad, but I think it depends on the context um, of the university itself. But in my opinion, I found the direct entry favorable to me because I don't have to worry about maintaining a certain GPA um, to get into the program or worrying about whether I'm going to make it to the actual business school program in year two. Um, I knew that from day one, um, I was going to get into the school uh, and I was there. You do have to maintain a minimum pro GPA to stay within the program itself, uh, which is true for all universities, but this GPA is very achievable. It's uh, nothing to worry about. And uh, if you honestly put in the work, you'll get there. You'll, you'll get there. That's uh, nothing to worry about in my opinion. One thing that really stands out uh, from Schulich is their approach to learning uh, through a case-based uh, environment. And case-based learning is essentially where um, instead of always doing tests and quizzes to test your knowledge, you're given cases. And these cases are, they can range from a page to a couple of pages where it gives you a scenario a business is in, uh, a real life scenario or a made up scenario where a business could be facing some problems. And you have to go in there with the mindset of the person from that company or an external consultant and look at it and see how you can help the company, what decisions you can make and apply what you have learned. And last but not least, this is something that's talked about all the time, but I have to emphasize it again because it honestly makes such a big difference. And that is the small class sizes at the school. Now coming into the school uh, in first year, the biggest class that you'll see from Schulich is a hundred people. Besides that class, all the other classes are like 40 to 45 students. You really feel like you're in a tight-knit community. Your professors know you by name in a lot of instances. You can really make those connections, go up to your professors, sit next to your peers, ask, ask questions. And uh, it really, in my opinion, helped me throughout the first year with the transition and it really helped it feel like a solid community similar to high school. So in short, the program offers a lot of flexibility, it gives you the fundamental knowledge that you need, and there are a lot of different great attributes of the school, such as its case-based learning and the small class sizes that really make it stand out. Now let's dive into cost, which is something that's very important to a lot of people, including myself. And in my opinion, Chulik is priced really well uh, compared to a lot of the different business schools in Canada. Over the last four years, I paid give or take around ten to $11,000 a year. Um, for tuition, uh, which once again is very reasonably priced for the level of the, the education you get from the school. Additionally, you're going to be saving a lot of money if you commute to the school. Um, it is a commuter school where um, a lot of people commute from different places in the city, drive there, take, the, uh, take transit. And this is a great op uh, option and uh, I did this as well. Um, and this really helps you save costs and the campus is very accessible. If you do want to live on residence, you can and there's opportunities for that as well. Um, it's once again, the, my friends who lived in residence said it was a great experience. Um, and if you're interested in living a residence during the first year, go for it. York University at a broader scale, as well as Schulich, has many different bursaries, scholarships, and financial support available based on your situation. Additionally, when you are when you get into Schulich, um, just because your GPA meets the minimum requirement for some of York University scholarships, you're essentially guaranteed a scholarship of some sort coming into the school. So in short, the program is very cost effective with a, costing around 10 to $11,000 in 2021, uh, which is where, when I'm uh, making this video. And there's a lot of different support uh, from a financial perspective to help fund your education. And uh, I really believe that the investment you make gives you a tremendous amount of return in the long run. Now let's dive into an area that I called the social ecosystem because I really didn't know what to call it because it's like a mix of social life, clubs, um, mentorship and everything combined. So when it comes to the social ecosystem at Schulich, it's amazing. I can just say that everyone within the school is there to support you from upper year students, the staff, the professors, everyone really is there to help you succeed. It's a tight knit community, um, similar to high school uh, for a lot of people, it really allows you to build those relationships and bonds which will which will be there for the rest of your life um, in some situations. There's a lot of different clubs and events hosted at the school. Uh, clubs are a huge part of Shulik. There's over around 20 clubs ranging from accounting, finance, consulting to corporate social responsibility. And not only are there clubs at Shulik, there's clubs at York. And York has something in the realm of like over 300, 350 clubs, which is honestly more than you could ever ask for and uh, that's a great opportunity for you to get well involved find your little niche make your friends uh, through that and uh, from personal experience being a part of clubs has really helped me make 
friends, um, especially in first year, as you can meet a lot of like-minded people and you're all working towards that same goal, uh, whether it be a competition, whether it be some sort of event or something, you're all there with that same purpose slash goal in mind. Another great opportunity that I was participating in since the first month I came into the school was case competitions. There are a lot of different case competitions hosted at the undergraduate level, both at Schulich as well as across different business schools nationally, internationally. It's a great opportunity for you to apply the skills you learn in class and also put yourself out there, network and make a name for yourself. And I can say that I've opened a lot of different doors through participating in case competitions and highly recommend doing that no matter what business school you go to. And lastly, the social life and spirit is something that really stands out at the school. Despite it being a commuter school, if you participate in things like Frosh, you really see that everyone has that same spirit for that school. Everyone bleeds blue and green, uh, the shoe colors, and uh, everyone's really there to support each other and really represent their schools. People who are thinking about Shulik often say that since it's not a school where you live on residence to commuter school, you might not have that same opportunity. I think that you have to take that with a little grain of salt because I feel like the opportunities are there. It's just that you have to make that extra step. Whereas if you were living on a school that's residence based or out of your hometown, then you're kind of forced and in that environment automatically. But if you're in Shulik, you really have to make that first step. But once you do so, I'm uh, rest assured that you're going to make great friends. There's a social life that exists at the school um, through the different clubs, through participating in events together. Um, one thing that I highly recommend uh, participating in is Frosh. Frosh is where you make the best friends of your, of your undergrad career. You meet a lot of different people, participate in fun activities, and it's an overall great time. So in short, the social ecosystem is great with many different clubs, events. The community is always there to help you whether it be upper year students, alumni, everyone's there to support each other. The spirit really stands out and everyone really is proud to represent Shulik. And now lastly, let's touch upon career aspects. This is something that is at the end of the day what you're working towards because you're going to a program with the end goal of having your degree contribute to whatever aspirations you have in terms of your career. And let me tell you that Shulik has great career aspects. Uh, based on their most recent employment report, Approximately 90% of grads who are looking for a job after graduation were able to find one in the next in, the, in, a, in a few months. The average salary based on that report was around $60,000, which once again is a great starting salary coming out of university. And it once, as I mentioned, it's an average number. Um, there are definitely salaries that are way high, and uh, there are sal some salaries that are lower depending on the industry. When it comes to career support, I really felt that everyone at the school is really there to help you with your career. Ranging from the Career Development Center at Schulich, which is the in-house career center, they offer resume reviews, cover letter reviews, interview uh, preparation, networking tips, and everything in between. They host events. They're always there to support students, and their sole purpose is to help you with your career journey. Schulich has their own career center, but York also has their broader career center, which you can use as well. So you're really supported uh, from an administration standpoint in your career. Additionally, um, I mentioned earlier, the alumni network is huge and uh, everyone there in the alumni network who I've interacted with has always been there to help me. You're honestly just one text, one phone call away and you can reach out to a lot of different people who'll be there to help you with your uh, career journey and really mentor you. I remember in first year, I had upper year students uh, who were graduating, helped me with my resume, cover letter and everything and really helped me succeed in, uh, in my career. And I really owe it to a lot of the different uh, upper year mentors and alumni who really helped me with my career journey. And lastly, clubs are a great source for careers as uh, they host a lot of industry specific events. Uh, so accounting events, um, consulting events, finance related events. There's a club that hosts corporate social responsibility based events and here's where you can really talk to a lot of people in specific industries that you're interested in. Overall, I felt that from a career perspective, I was very well supported, uh, whether it was from my professors, student, uh, upper year students, mentors, alumni, the alumni network, career center, everyone's really there to help you with your career. So with that said, that brings me to the end of this video as to why I went to Shulik and the key areas that we looked at. Just to quickly highlight the key areas that I touched upon were the alumni network, the program itself, the cost of the program, the social ecosystem, and lastly, the career opportunities. Once again, this was a great decision and one of the best decisions I've made. And I do understand that when you're in high school looking at the universities, it, it can seem very overwhelming. There's a lot of different decisions to be made. There are so many things that are going on in your mind. I've been there. I've gone through that. 
I am a chronic overthinker. I can definitely relate with a lot of you if you are uh, feeling stressed. So if you do need help um, with guidance, advice, um, and honestly want to talk about anything, uh, feel free to reach out um, down in the comments, um, either on Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you're able to find me. I'm always there uh, to help you. And uh, lastly, if you made it to the end, please make sure to click that subscribe button. Uh, I do plan on making a lot more content surrounding university, life, uh, personal finances, career opportunities, and much more. So I really hope that you can benefit off of that as well. Thank you for tuning into this video and I'll see you next time.